the treatments for bipolar disorder uh, were initially discovered serendipitously. And uh, so lithium, for example, remains one of the most uh, frequently used and effective treatments for bipolar disorder. Uh, but lithium is, is, uh, has a number of different uh, targets in the brain, and so we haven't learned very much specific information from lithium's effect. But some of the things that lithium does that are now under, uh, uh, under a, a, a great deal of research, and, uh, that are now targets for a great deal of research, uh, one of those things is that lithium will decrease the function or change the function of some second messenger systems. And so it will give a way uh, that you could have multiple neurotransmitter systems affected or, or, or damped down uh, by just the one effect of, uh, of lithium. Another thing that lithium does is it has uh, very robust neuroprotective and neurotrophic effects. And so it's thought that lithium uh, may partly uh, have its effect in the brain by restoring the structure, uh, some of these structural abnormalities that occur in bipolar disorder. Uh, so for example, the reductions in gray matter volume that exist in the uh, hipp hippocampus and the medial prefrontal cortex, there's now some evidence that suggests lithium can actually reverse those changes. Uh, similarly, in those experimental animal models I was referring to where you could get repeated stress causing atrophy in the same structures, lithium has the capability of reversing those atrophic changes. So uh, one, uh, one impact of lithium might be on the neuroplasticity uh, of the brain.